Hello everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video where I'm gonna be sharing three different ideas that you can make with Simon Says Stamps new January 2023 card kit called Snow Love. This is a very wintry kit, but it has some surprising elements in it, including some bright colored card stocks and some fun embellishments. Let's start first with this card here. I created this very pretty wintry card using heat embossing on Simon Says Stamps new color blend card stocks. So this is the stamp set and here's the color blend card stocks. You get eight sheets of these really bright and beautiful colors. I'm going to be using the pink and blue paper today to create this card and I've already mounted a bunch of the snowflakes from the stamp set into my Misty. I'm using Simon Says Stamp embossing ink to stamp down on top of this paper and I did prep it with a powder tool prior to stamping. I'll carefully lift the door of the Misty up so I don't smudge any of the designs because this is a glossy paper so you do want to be careful about that. And then I'll just take my white embossing powder and sprinkle that right on top. If you prep the surface of the paper with a powder tool, you won't have to worry about any extra powder getting stuck to the paper. It comes off really easily. So I'll heat the back side of my paper really well first with my heat tool and then come back over to the front and melt those snowflakes to create a beautiful bright white finish on this colored paper. I love the combination of the bright colors and then the glossy finish. It makes this look so pretty. Once I finished my embossing, I brought in some Nuvo white drops and I'm going to put a few of these in and around the snowflakes. This is going to give a dimensional snowflake finish to this project. I like the combination of those dots in between the snowflakes. It helps kind of fill things in a little bit. And I just varied my snow dots so that I had a nice variation of large and small. Once this dried, I'm ready to add a sentiment. There is some deco sheet glitter paper from Tim Holtz included in this kit. And the deco sheets are an adhesive backed glitter paper. So I'm going to cut a sheet down so it's just about the size of my die cut greeting. And then I'm going to remove the release paper and stick it down onto some white cardstock. Now I can go ahead and die cut this with my little die, which is the Scripty Hugs die from Simon's Stamp. Using my tweezers, I'll pop out any of those inner pieces that are no longer needed. And I have this really pretty glittery greeting. I'll glue this onto the shadow layer that also is included with the die, and that gives me a really nice greeting I can put onto my card. But I decided I wanted to pair it with a stamped greeting as well. And I'm gonna pull out this greeting here that says, sending snow much love, and I'll white emboss this onto this dull pink cardstock. This is going to look really cute, lined up along the bottom of my card. I used my Tim Holtz mini trimmer to trim that greeting down so that it is a nice thin strip that will go along the bottom of my card. I'm using thin 3D foam squares to attach it so that gives it just a little bit of lift off of my card. And then that's also going to be recessed behind my Sentiment Hugs, which has a regular 3D foam square on the back side of that. So that's twice the thickness of the thin ones. I added a little bit of silver sparkle to match that greeting by tying some silver twine around my card. Then I die cut a little heart from some glitter paper using a Simon Says Stamp heart die and that was a nice embellishment to finish off this card. So card number one is done. Let's move on to adding some glitter. There are these super cute snowflake foam shapes in the kit. So I love using something like this to make glitter embellishments. You could also use foil or other materials like that, but I think the glitter is fun. So I'm using Simon Says Stamp Chunky Glitter. This is the unicorn confetti color. And I just like to smash that glitter into the foam shape so that way it is really adhered well. Then you won't have much flake off. So after I brush off any excess, then I have my cute little embellishment that I can make a whole bunch of if I want. And I did. I made a few of each snowflake with two different types of glitter. So this one's the unicorn dust glitter from Simon Says Stamp. And the combination of the confetti and the dust glitters together looks so cool. I layered my snowflake shapes together so I had three dimensional looking snowflake embellishments that all have a combination of glitter on them. I'll set those aside for a minute and work on a background that these will be able to sit on. I'm using the teal ink pad that's included in the kit and a Simon Says Stamp blending brush to create a teal background that these will be sitting on. I really like this trio combination. I think it is a really nice arrangement. 
and I'm going to make sure that my background has some darker corners on the top left and bottom right. Then I added a little bit of tone on tone stenciling by using that same teal ink color and a snowflake stencil from Simon Says Stamp to create that nice finish. This is going to have very subtle snowflakes basically in the background, but it's just enough to give a little bit of interest to this card and I really like the finished look. I think it steps up the background and gives this a really cool wintry feel. So now because these of course are double sided foam shapes, I'm just going to be able to remove the release paper on the other side and stick these straight down onto my card. It's super simple. And then I completed the card by adding a sentiment from the stamp set that says snow much love. And I also pulled in some sequins. I used clear sequins to put around the snowflakes. This adds a bit of sparkle that ties really well with the glitter shapes. And then finally in the center of each of those snowflakes, I added cute little silver rhinestones. These look really pretty in the middle of each snowflake and adds that final finishing touch that dresses them up beautifully. So here's the finished card, lots of sparkle and shine. It's really pretty and has such a magical feel to it. All right, so that was card number two. Let's do something different and do a bit of watercoloring. If you didn't know, Simon Says Stamps Positively Saturated Inks are able to be used as a watercolor. They react very well to water and so I'm going to use the water brush that's included in the kit, a piece of Tim Holtz watercolor paper and then that teal ink to create a teal watercolor background. You do not have to do anything fancy with this. You're basically just creating a splotch of teal color in the middle of this paper. That's it. Y'all, that's all you're doing. And then once this dries, we're going to be able to add some stenciling on top. That's going to look really, really cool. I pulled in some iridescent glitter paste from Gina K Designs, and I'm going to apply it through this stencil from Simon Says Stamp. It's the I Like Small Dots stencil. This is going to create a really nice dot texture over top of this teal background. And because this is iridescent, it's really just going to pick up the color that's underneath. So these dots won't actually be white, they'll actually turn a little teal. As you can see here, they've dried and I really like that finished look. I took the Aiden Snowflake that's included in the kit and die cut it from the matte silver cardstock that's also part of the kit. I die cut that three times and glued three of those onto my project. Then I also pulled out the Harmony Snowflake die set from Simon Says Stamp. This is not in the kit, but it's something that I have in my stash and it's a really great snowflake set. I die cut two of the three snowflakes that are in that set from some white glossy cardstock from Simon and glued those around the Aiden snowflakes. For my greeting, I pulled out this fittingly perfect sentiment that says snowy greetings. It works perfectly with these snowflakes and the beautiful scripty font is just absolutely stunning. It is delicate, which goes really, really well with the snowflake shapes. I'm going to pop this up with some foam squares. I actually had thin 3D foam squares in front of me, so I just doubled up the thin ones because I wanted this to be twice as thick. So I'm going to glue that straight down onto my project, and that's really going to complete things. The only thing left to do was I did add a few clear gems in the middle of each of these snowflakes. You don't have to do this, but it did add a nice little bit of interest to the snowflakes and it provided a bit more sparkle too. So there you have it. Three different ways that you can use the Simon Says Stamp January 2023 card kit Snow Love. It's a fun and festive kit for the winter season. Also really good for making thank you cards for after the holidays. If you were inspired by this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you're interested in any of the supplies that I used, I do have them linked below in the video description or on my blog, so be sure to check that out. And I'll be back soon with more to share with you all. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.